What to do YouTube, I'm actually really enjoying making these videos. I didn't think they were going to get that much hype and honestly I needed a video for today which I'm making this the night before because I had a vlog almost complete and it just like it fell apart. It really did. I, I was like, oh, well, I have no video for Tuesday. So because I was trying to do a bunch of stuff Tuesday and none of it ha or for Tuesday's vlog, but none of it happened. Right. So I was like, well, all right, well, no headset on. It's like nine o'clock at night the day before Tuesday. And I'm just like, OK, well, you know, what do I do? Right. So, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, you know, I don't know, like, how do I say this? I don't know how to say this. Okay. So, I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be. I know I do want to make a lot more 2K videos. I was vlogging. But, honestly, my life is kind of boring, right? People make vlogs when their life is exciting, right? So, I can't make a vlog for you every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Saturday because I honestly don't do that much stuff in a week. Unless you guys want the, because my life's pretty repetitive, right? Unless you want the same repetitive stuff. But if you you guys aren't here for that, you guys click this video because you want a dominant small forward all around build, and that's what I'm all about, man. I'm all about all around builds because yeah, I'm just all around, and that's what I like in 2K. I don't want to just be a shooter. I want to be able to do it all. Hey, damn, I'm getting locked up at three. Maybe I can hit these back cuts, you know. Oh, I'm getting locked up. Like I need, I can't, I can't handle the rock, right? I can't do it. So, this is what I'm gonna do for you guys. You guys are gonna get this little dominant build. Uh, sorry, I this I just, I just noticed this. It won't let me. Oh, oh, okay. But okay, so you guys obviously came here for the dominant small forward build. I should be covering every single position. Um, this is the build I'm gonna go with when I upgrade my my man's. Uh, all right, let me move my actually it's gonna move over so you guys don't even have to worry about it So let me upgrade my like um, let me show you guys what we're working with here, man. So He's six eight six eight is a viable build. It gives him a boost when it comes to um, Like this is more of like an all-around park build I would guess you would say but it will work in the wreck if you have the right teammates Just like any build right if you can be a playmaking slasher at a point guard position but you're going to need shooters, right? And you can have good, but like you can't have a small forward that's slasher and a point guard that's slasher. It's just, it's just not how 2K rolls. You know, so let me let me kind of put you guys all together on what, what we're doing here, right? So he's 6'8", all right? Um, wingspan, uh, cancel. So wingspan 7'3". I want him to have a little bit longer wingspan so we can get that dunk up. And it, it I guess it really doesn't affect his three-point all but like four and it's still viable like i mean i guess you could have like an 85 three-pointer if you wanted so if you want to adjust the wingspan just a little bit go for it i don't even remember putting it at 7-3 but i guess it is a 7-3 so we'll get right into it man so you want to you want to have your driving dunk and layup at 90s you don't need anything i don't care what anybody says you do not need anything over a 90 on any category in this game in this 2k right shooting What's the difference between 90 and 93? Not much. If you time your jumper right, it's going to be fine. You're driving dunk. A 90 and a 99, right? You're finishing the same. I, I don't, I, I mean, that's just my personal, like, belief in the game. You guys can pull out the stock, stocks and stuff like that and show me. Close shot to 70, you really don't need a close shot. They're, they're pretty much layups or mid middies, you know? There's not really any in between. So... Um, come down here to standing dunk. I have it on zero because I when when are you underneath the rim at six eight? Just dunk it on a center standing. Never. Post control. When are you ever backing somebody down as a small forward? Right. When are you ever spin moving out? You're you're not. You're you're only hitting back cuts. You're trying to get open. You're you're as a small forward. You're always moving. So you don't really need to back anybody down. Mid range shot eighty six. You want to have a mid range shot as a as a small forward because. Have 2K21, perfect prime example. Karan, right? My my boy I always play with. I play with him and John. Buddy was a two-way finisher, right? Dominant build, right? Hit back cuts, always finished for me, always got out and ran. Like, perfect, right? But if we played a team that had a guard, 
I was always getting doubled, and they would just leave him open at the three because they knew the, – and if they had a center on their team, they knew he was just going to dunk the ball so the center could just take care of him and my big. So I had to get creative, right? So if Karan had that midi, then boom, he's going to be perfect for shooting, right? So let's look at that. 86 midi, 81 three-pointer, right? Not the best three-pointer, but like I said, you can change the wingspan and get it to an 85. And it's not the greatest three-pointer, but you're not going to hit consistently, but you're going to hit those open shots if you got a good, if you know your jumper. It's all, it all comes down to player preference. This is, this is more of a, um, like, not, not for a noob, right? Not for a noob to 2K or a noob player. Free throw 97, you got to be able to shoot free throws if you play rec, man. you got to. Pass accuracy, 85. It, you're, get, you're getting the ball there, okay? Ball handle, 80. You know, speed with ball, 73. As a small forward, you should never really be handling the rock like that unless you're driving to the rim, and that gives you the ball handling and the speed you need to get to the rim, and that's if you're driving. And very rarely, as a small forward, you're ever just in a rec game, maybe, in the park, maybe, but, like, you're never really you're, – you're normally trying to get open for your point guard to find you. So, speed with ball – 73, um, 80, 85, you know, you don't even have to listen to me talk, you can just stop the video, I'm just explaining why I did this, interior defense, defense is a big, big thing I did on this build, because that's why the three point shot and everything else wasn't really that crazy high, and it's because I focus more on defense, because you have, you gotta be locked down as a small forward, because you, you're, you're 90% of the time, you're guarding the one, you're guarding the one through the five. You can do it all. A six eight, you're in a seven three wingspan, you can guard it all from the one through the three, right? So you got interior defense, 75, perimeter defense, 88. That's important. And that is important. Because them guards, like they see you small four, they just try to start saucing. But you are clamped down, locked down. Um, 85 steel, yeah, them, them point guards think they're slick till you yank the ball from them, right? Block 89. You get your LeBron out here. This was tr I tried to make a LeBron build, really. I really did. That's where I was going with this. 85, 89, you got all those defense, all that shooting. Well, LeBron's not the greatest shooter via, right? 90 driving layup, 90 driving dunk. That's LeBron shit. I mean, yeah, LeBron posts people up, but, you know, 2K, we just got to work with 2K, right? LeBron got that ball handles. He got those passing, right? Offensive rebound. And defensive rebound are not really that high because that's really up to your center. You'll be there sometimes, right? You'll catch those straight balls, which, I mean, as a point guard, I mean, I average like three rebounds a game. And it's just because positioning and you don't a, – a ball, a wild ball goes off of a shot and you're just like, oh, thanks, you know. So rebounding this year isn't really that difficult as it, as it used to be. So, I mean, if you don't even want to put that up at all, you can put it in like – Literally, like, a close shot if you want. Right? It, doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? So then we come down here to speed, 78 speed, right? That's not the slowest, but it ain't the fastest. You're still be kind of quick. Acceleration, 76. Strength of 54. I think I needed to make him a little stronger, but I kind of had to loosen his strength up for um, speed and for shooting abilities. So, I mean... Strength does matter, but how many times, like I said, are you trying to back, or are you trying to like body somebody as a small forward, like other than contact dunks, which that is kind of important, but at the same way, like it, it depends on your play style, right? If this build might not be for you, it may be, it may not be. Vertical 91, right? You got to get out there and jump. You're small forward. Stamina 99, right? Now let's go over the badging. So, okay, let's go to, let's go to, um, actually, let's, let me go to, let me go over to badging expand right so you have the possibilities for what 20 oh shit you have the possibility for 20 shooting 26 or 20 finishing 26 shooting right which is crazy because your three pointer is not that great 23 playmaking and 20 defensive badges what build do you know that has 20 in each category but this build right at least 20 20, 20, and then 26, 23, right? This this builds out of this world, right? And everybody kind of looks at me when I say this, but look at the badges don't lie, right? Then we come around here. I have locked down on mine because, I, like I said, I want him clamping. 
you can put anything you want as this, right? I'll, I'll show you, right? You can either have an interior badge, pain intimidator stuff. Like you can get block badges, lockdown badges. You can get shot creating badges and you can also get slashing badges. So I did the lockdown first, right? To provide larger boosts to contested shots. So right, so uh, like I said, you guard and point guard, you guard and a shooter, right? Because not a lot of people even make a three. When you play a rec team, they're not either one through the three or point guards, tallest dude, six, five, right? You're locking them. You're clamping them. Finishing, just absorbing, uh, finishing through traffic and stuff like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect, right? So this is, you know, this is my LeBron build. This is my best all around, um, what is it? I guess all around uh, small forward build. This is probably a build I will be going with in the future. I plan on repping them all out. I do. I'm going to at least get them all to an 85 that it builds I make for you guys. So, I have my small shooting. I have a shooting guard and then this small forward. Once I get my shooting guard to 95, I'm gonna get at least the, I'm gonna put VC on this one. I'm gonna build the other ones. Hopefully, you know, get all this video made. I didn't even think my shooting guard build was gonna work like that well. I just kind of threw it in there as a whim, but it got 20 something views, man. People, people really want to know. So, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully, this video helped you. Oh, by the way, this build is um, a two way mid-range maestro that's the name of it. it's a weird build like when i made it i was like do i even want this build because of a weird name but it, it it's a it's a solid build you know and especially once you get up there and level get badges for each each category right one badge per category like come on you get you can put you can put you know you have 21 27 24 21 like you're gonna be getting up there so if you want to, all, if you're that small forward, that you're a role player. You like to score, but you also like to just be your thing. Because you know, sometimes your center, most of the time, your center and your point guards are scoring, right? That's just how it goes. Your center, your shooting guards, your point guard, right? Your shooters are shooting, and your centers just trash can man and getting fed in the paint. Because this year, centers are dominant. I'm gonna make a center build for you guys. Don't don't worry. I'm gonna make a center build. But this. This build is the all around, right? If you need to be that spot up set shooter that just sits in the corner, 81 three pointer, you can do it. Buy boost, you buy boost, you'll be perfect. You'll be sitting there like it puts what, plus five, be an 86 three pointer, you'll be fine. You learn your good jumper, you get a good jumper, you'll be fine, right? You come up as, oh, I need to, like in park, right? Oh, I need to be hitting back cuts, I need to be a threat. You're a threat from anywhere in park. Your guy can't leave you face guarding you, right? That opens so much opportunity for the point guard and the center because not just two people are just standing in the paint doing this, right? So you're there. That Just having those attributes apply the fact. And then somebody's going to see you and be like, two-way mid-range maestro. He can't shoot threes. And then you're yapping in his face, right? So it's... It's all around. If you want to just, if you're just there for defense, you score zero points, but your man has, or you score, say you score five points in a rec game, but your man has zero. That's huge. I, I don't care. Like I've played rec games, we've gotten blown the hell out, like by like thirty points. But guess what? My man had zero because I like defense first. Defense is my favorite thing to play. I don't like offense. I'm not great at offense, but I can play defense, right? I'm okay. I can't. I can't say I'm not good at defense. I'm okay, but. Or offense, but defense is what I like to play. When a dude's dribbling me in and I can't guard him, I get mad. I'm I'm locked in. I'm focused up. So, all right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is like the third time I've tried to end this video, and I kept going because I talked forever. 13 minute video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday, and peace out. Hope uh, hit smash that like button if you want more build tutorials.